Hello guys, thank you for joining. Um, today I'm on here to review, well do a walkthrough of this lovely little deck that I won in a competition um, which was run by the artist who is Jasmine Westwood. Um, myself and Levi uh, won a copy uh, possibly about a month ago. Um, it arrived the other day and I absolutely love it. Um, I am not one to normally use angel decks um, but I do like a, you know an oracle deck or an affirmation deck. Um, and this is really lovely, it doesn't focus on things being overtly positive, um, it's very, very usable, and the artwork is absolutely beautiful. Um, if you know who Yasmin is, um, she is the creator of a few decks um, which are published by Red Feather, um, and this is the latest one, and this is possibly the, one of the best Red Feather decks that I have seen in a very, very long time. Um, the box quality is amazing. Um, it's got spot gloss varnish on it. Um, it's really, really lovely. Um, and it comes in a magnetic box, as you can see as well. Um, so I will show you the cards and the guidebook. Um, so, first of all, you have a lovely guidebook, and it's written by Ellen Valdores. Valdores, sorry. Um, every page... Uh, it's in full colour with lots of information here um, about like what's on the cards. Let me just pop my glasses on so I can see the book. Um, first of all, in the front of the book, um, you have a, a little kind of like quote there by Hafiz. Um, I wish I could show you when you are lonely or in darkness, the astonishing light of your own being, which is absolutely lovely. And then we have a table of contents in the front and a little um kind of message from um the author and it says oh she was been working with angel healing for many many years but um it kind of like got more intense when the pandemic came and um, because obviously we're, a lot of us were in a very very bad place um with uncertainty you know things that were going on in our lives so this is when the deck was actually created um so there's lots of information in the beginning of the book here and there's a 101 on angels as well um and then there is how to use the angels of healing and hope oracle cards so you can basically like you know you can read this or you can do your own spreads or pull a card and or do a reading um, there's lots of different ways to use it as well. And then we have like, you know, kind of like generic um, reading for others, selecting and shuffling the cards and jumping cards as well. And then we have suggestions for using the cards. And then it goes on to about the angels playlist picks. And I thought, oh, what's that? Well, the thing is, the coolest thing is, if you've got Spotify, um, the author has actually compiled a Spotify playlist um, to kind of deepen your connection to working with the deck, um, which is super cool because every card um, in the deck has got a song attached to it. Um, and I, I looked at the, and I thought to myself, I thought, oh, I wonder what kind of music it's going to be. Um, and I went on to Spotify, 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 and added it to my own library and it is super cool you've got lots of different genres of music and um, from different time periods and it really is worth a listen honestly um you know it's all in here as well it's the angel playlist picks um and it's by ellen so you'll be able to find it easy and then there's like a join the angel community as well on the angels of hope and healing facebook group which i don't use facebook anyway and then the angel artwork and it says all of these stunning images on the cards created by Yasmin Westwood are available to be purchased as prints. Visit Yasmin's site at enchantedsoulart.co.uk or angelsofhealingandhope.com for more information. <clears throat> so a little bit about uh, Yasmin as well. She's a self-taught artist um, originating from Scotland in the United Kingdom. So it's absolutely lovely to see um, some homegrown talent as well. Um, Yasmin um, uses photo manipulation. Oh, well, I can't get my words out this morning. Photo manipulation in her artwork, and it works incredibly well. And then Ellen is a award-winning author and coach, a native Floridian. 
She grew up in St. Petersburg and currently lives in Western Florida. And there's lots of info about there, about the books and the things and CDs that Ellen has bought out. So onto the um, card. So you've got the card messages um, and there is the first one, the air, air element. And then, as I said, the Angels playlist pick is Blowing in the Wind by Peter, Paul and Mary. So you can like put the podcast on and um, the playlist on when you're listening to, you know, in the background when you're using the deck and, and i think it's a really really cool idea um and so we have like kind of you know information you know i picked this car because the air element angels of the air, air element are bringing you gifts of clarity and also for some this card might also be a signal that the winds of change are blowing in your life so there's lots of um information and what the um author states as well is to pick up on the little symbols in the cards which may be relevant to your readings so i like it that you can kind of be left to your own interpretations as well and what i also like about it is it's more of a oracle deck than a specific angel deck so you haven't got like um angels kind of named on here you know um everyone is kind of like all different so you know, you can kind of like come up, come to your own conclusion on how you use the deck. Right, so let's show you the cards. They have been shuffled. They are on the most amazing matte card stock. Really, really durable, lovely. Um, I wished Red Feather would do all the decks on this kind of card stock in future. Um, gold gilding as well. Backs are lovely. Um, reversible, well, you know. If you use reversals which i personally don't and so let me show you the artwork um it's absolutely gorgeous you've got clear out the clutter there and as you can see like that angel's got like um a, a dusting broom there there's books and everything all the way around her um you know so you can see like clearing out the clutter which is self-explanatory but it does say a lot more in the guidebook and then we've got believing in miracles um, I love the colour palette that Yasmin's chosen, it's very bright, it's very modern um, and you know I think it kind of modernises the whole kind of you know angel kind of healing kind of thing and so this is for angels are surrounding you, the, the, those of you familiar with working with angels you know the 444 is an angel number, um, ask for a sign as well so you've got signposts there um, which is absolutely lovely in a globe and then the moon and then like a light there shining and so we've got dream time here as well which is lovely dance with life Yasmin's artwork is so so lovely totally usable as well make a wish kind of steampunky angel there and the dandelions at the back Focus on self-care and um, that's really nice because you've got the clocks in the background You've got the shell there as well, which like is a reminiscent of like, you know going within um, And looking after yourself, you know stop rushing around Flow with it You are beautiful which is an incredible beauty incredibly beautiful card um and it's like kind of like an affirmation, you know, to kind of accept yourself the way you are. With all your faults and flaws, you know, there's nothing more important than a bit of self-love. You are an angel on earth. So this is must be about like helping others. Hello from the other side. So if you particularly work with spirit work or guides or anything, this is a really nice card to have to know that you... You are being kind of looked upon from the other side. Healing. Beautiful unicorn in the background there. Have faith. I love this card. It's one of my favourites. Absolutely gorgeous. Learning and teaching. So you can see like from the keywords uh, that were chosen. Um, they were particularly chosen from the art for the artwork of vice versa um and they really work you you know it's, you haven't really got to think about like any kind of deeper meanings you can put your own meanings on as i said um it's a very like kind of intuitive deck to use as well 
um, and it'd be great to use by itself or with um, tarot cards you know I'll find it quite a, a healing positive deck as well um, and I think sometimes you know especially with all the shadow word decks that are around at the moment I mean I think that seems to be like a thing um, it's nice to see you know something where you know it's a bit of a no brainer you haven't got to kind of like delve deep and you know bring up all the traumas it's nice to see a you know a deck like this where you know it's kind of balanced um and not too overtly focusing on the positive but i absolutely love it as well you know so we've got freedom and we've got precious time as well resilience self-compassion sensitive soul love that like kind of wintry scene and then we've got water elements so we've got the four elements included in this deck um earth air fire and water warrior of light it's lovely to see that instead of light worker on a card um awakening Soothe your soul with music. That's lovely. Because as we as we know that music can have a profound effect on our mood. Soul love. Love and gratitude. I love this card so much. Lighten up. You've got this. You are not alone. That's lovely as well. Let your creativity flow. Let love in. So I would say this um, personally as <clears throat> a blockage card. So about opening yourself up, you know, to, I suppose, love and other experiences. You know, don't block things out. Fire element. Embrace the now. An earth element. And then this one is in landscape mode. I have no idea why. I think it's probably to <coughs> get all the image of Yasmin's artwork. Yasmin's artwork in instead of like shrinking it down. But it's lovely as well. You've got pause and reflect. Um, that's lovely and I think that's a very important message. And let the good times roll. Gorgeous. And then Angels of Abundance. That lovely kind of gold trunk there full of treasure. Angels of Alchemy. You could see that as kind of like the magician in the tarot card. Angels of Peace. Connection with animals. Spread your wings. And there we go, guys. There's Earth Air Element. And we're back to the beginning. So this is a totally 100% usable deck um, in your practice. Or maybe kind of messages for yourself, you know, a daily pull. Um, it'd be great for journaling as well because it does give you something to think about. Um, the cards Riffle Shuffle, which I've tried, they are lovely, lovely quality. Um, I'm thoroughly going to enjoy working with this deck. Um, it's not something I would normally work with, um, but I am going to give it a go. And I've already pulled a few cards and yeah, they are very, very good. So this is available right now. It's just been released. And this is the Angels of Hope and Healing by Yasmin Westwood and Ellen Valadores. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you all have a wonderful day wherever you are in the world. Um, hopefully you can tune in later where I'm going live with Joseph of Grounded by the Moon. Um, where we're going to have a chat and a chill and Joseph's going to be talking about his, his work and his new deck. So yeah, hopefully see you all later. Thank you so much for watching and your support and your comments. I appreciate you all. So take care, stay safe and lots of love. Bye guys.